Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question how we can capture a time-lapse video of a lightning storm with the GoPro uh, Black or GoPro 10 Hero Black. That's the latest edition. You can see that here. Uh, by the way, of course, I'm using it with this uh, media mod which is uh, very helpful for a couple of things but of course for the lightning storms you don't need this housing but uh, yeah it's just a little bit complicated to uh, take it away so I leave it like that so uh, it's the same thing with the settings of course we switch here between the normal video mode and the photo mode and the time-lapse mode here we are in the time-lapse mode and what we need I mean we have three of the different functions we have the time warp we have the time lapse and we have the night lapse and of course we are using the night lapse here then we go to the settings here on the right side and the only thing which we have to adjust is the shutter setting I mean unless you want to do some crazy stuff but usually it's not needed the only thing which I usually change is the shutter time which we can set between automatic and two seconds and think the maximum is 30 seconds what I'm usually doing especially when we have some intense lightning storm I'm usually going with the 10 seconds then when we have something a little bit intermediate maybe not so many lightnings then we can increase that to 20 seconds and when it's a, a rather slow things not much going on then it, maybe it could be helpful to uh, have it even on 30 seconds but usually I'm leaving it on 10 seconds and uh, I have prepared a couple of different uh, videos for you where I'm going to show you that for 10 seconds which you can see here I think it was doing uh, pretty well I mean not the greatest video because it's a little bit too close usually when you want to do a time lapse of a, a lightning storm then uh, it's usually something which is rather far away and usually when the lightning uh, storm is very close and you are rather doing like single photos that's a different thing you can also do that of course with a longer shutter time here with the gopro but here i'm more talking about time lapse video then when it's too close then it, it doesn't have a huge effect i did it also for the 20 seconds and for some reason yeah you can also set it to 15 seconds uh yeah i had it on 20 seconds and it was for some reason not showing any lightning at all which is almost impossible i've double checked or triple checked that there was some lightning a lot of lightning and it didn't record any of them with the 20 seconds setting in the first time for some reason I was a little bit shocked I, I almost feared that it would be a problem with the camera but I mean it's almost impossible to make uh, like a capture this lightning storm just not the lightning itself but yeah maybe when I was outside I started it there was some lightning and after that it really stopped when I came back to the camera it started doing some lightning yeah I, it was really crazy nothing on there so I repeated that later on like a, a couple of days later and I made a really really nice uh, footage uh, from a lightning storm was which was a little bit further away and i was using the 20 seconds and it gave me a really nice three second time lapse video unfortunately i had to stop it because it was midnight and i wanted to take in the camera because i didn't know if there was some rain so yeah uh, but it definitely also worked with the 20 seconds and i was also using then the 30 seconds unfortunately i don't have a long video of the 30 seconds but of course it also worked the problem with the 30 seconds i had was that in a sudden the lightning was very very close i mean there was a huge bang just a couple of minutes after i started the 30 seconds i mean everything was shaking the whole house the roof all the windows everything was totally shaking i've never heard that before and i went on outside and uh, brought in the camera and checked the footage and there was some really crazy lightning on there but it definitely also works with the 30 seconds with the 30 seconds it could be just a little bit too much maybe too bright i mean they, of course they are not good visible anyway because we are talking usually about 30 frames per second or so then uh, at the end 
it, it, it's uh, not very good in single images but you could take out some single image frames out of the video and then maybe you have with the 30 seconds too much and then you have like duplicate uh, exposure of uh, like lightnings in one single frame and this is always something which I want to avoid so again my thing uh, 10 seconds but it's a really good thing I would say overall I have uh, tested many action cameras regarding that and not many action cameras are capable to do that something like that like a night lapse which works really good I had one uh, which was only around uh, $100 or not even that and it was really a good one but it's not on the market anymore I can't even remember the name but usually normal uh, action cameras which you can buy for like $50 or uh, maybe $100 or so they are not capable to do that they can usually do uh, like time-lapse video but with the night lapse it's a total different thing because you want to have this longer shutter time and that's not possible with a lot of cameras so the GoPro is really really nice also what's really nice if you check my footage that lights which are turned on maybe you can't turn them off maybe solar lights which you can't just turn off easily and they are within the uh, frame uh, they do not overexpose the whole video that's very very important i've seen some cameras which are highly struggling let's say we are, when we are talking about 30 seconds exposure time sometimes if you just have just a little bit of light then they expose the whole video the whole frame and then it's almost impossible to see anything and the whole video can be really really heavily compromised by that and that's not going to happen with the gopro i don't know how they made it but they did a really really good job on that even with the 30 seconds exposure or like shutter time even when there is some light it won't ruin the whole uh, footage this is what you especially see like in, in the 20 seconds video where it's almost completely dark you have just the stars and the lightning storm and the light some solar lights and it's still very very clear i love this thing so my full recommendation for the gopro hero 10 black if you want to record some time lapse of lightning storms and uh, if you want to buy it i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it and hope been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions maybe you have uh, found a better camera uh, for these things or you have found better settings then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time